Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can do a confetti cannon effect like this in the Spark AR Studio. So when you tap on the screen, the two confetti cannons on the two corners are firing up and you have some cool effects. So yeah, let's start. Hey again, so let's create this confetti cannon effect here in the Spark AR Studio. So when we tap the screen, that two confetti cannons are yeah exploding and yeah, the confettis are flying all over the screen as you have seen it here in the preview at the beginning of the video. So the first thing is to add uh, yeah, a particle system. So we go to our scene, click on the little plus and add a particle system. So now the particle system is here in the middle of the screen, but we want it here um, yeah, in the two corners. So for this, we go just to our, yeah, to our 3D space and here move the yeah, emitter around. So now it's in the corner, but we also want it to, that it's emitting yeah, into the screen. So we change here to the rotation and then we rotate the emitter. So it is emitting towards our face. So now the emitter is stopping here, but we want that the particles are going up and here are going down again. So the first thing we have to change is here in the, yeah, emitter settings are the, the lifespan of the emitter. We will set the particle lifespan from about yeah, 0 0.4, let's say 8. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter because the emitter are, the particles are going outside the screen, so we don't see them, but when they're moving up, they are also coming down. So yeah, we have to do, um, yeah, let's say eight seconds. So, and the next thing is that we need a particle at the mo uh, a material because at the moment there are just gray particles. So for this, go to your assets bundle and click on the little plus. Now select material and I will call the first material red because we will do three colors. But of course, you can do as many colors as you want. So after we have created the material, I click on it, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to physically based. Now I go down to my surface parameters and set the metallic to about yeah, 50 and the roughness to about let's say 70. But you can also play around with those settings. Now I go up because at the moment the color is set to white but I want to have a red particle for the first. So I will yeah, set this to OK. Then I go back to my scene, click on the emitter, go to the right hand side and scroll all the way down to the materials and then I will click on the little plus and then I will yeah, just here select the red material. So now our particles are red but they are just yeah, emitting upwards so we want to change this. So for this scroll all the way down and here you will find under materials the four step and here acceleration. Go to the right hand side and yeah, activate the acceleration. And now you can already say, um, see that the particles are slowing down here and then go back downwards. This is that what we want. But yeah, at the moment the strength is 0 for, for x and minus 0 0.05 for y and 0 for z. Um, yeah, I want to have those more strength so they are yeah, going down more quickly. So I will set the strength to let's say minus 0. Point, yeah one so now they are going down um, more quickly but i want also that they are going up more so for this i will change the speed of my particles so i will scroll all the way back and here set the speed from 0 0.2 let's say to 0 0.5 and now they are <laughs> yeah much faster in my opinion too fast so i will set the speed down to 0 0.3 so this looks much better now and also I will set this, um, yeah, the speed here is changing from 0.3 and alternating 40%. So I will set this to 20. So the next thing is that we also want some movements of the particles. So let's change this. So we have also scroll down. So with the emitter um, selected to the particle tab and here we will yeah, disable billboarding and then we get all those settings here and here I will set the 
angular velocity for x, y and z to 180. So now you see they are already um, yeah, spinning around but they are also disappearing when they hit a certain um, angel. So for this go to the, your material and then scroll all the way down to render options and here activate double sided. So and now they should be better visible. So now back to the emitter. So just yeah, select the emitter and here go again down to particle to angular velocity and here also next to x, y and z there is another input field. Here I will yeah just set this to 200 but of course you can play around with those numbers and now you can see there is also yeah they are glittering around and I think that looks pretty good but at the moment they are too big for yeah confettis for me so I will yeah change the size here to scale of the particle and I will set the particle scale to let's say 0.005 and I will alternate them by 50 yeah 50 percent and now we have bigger ones we have smaller ones and they are all yeah going around the screen so at the moment we have just one emitter but we will change this so for this i will go to my emitter right click on it and then here i just click on duplicate so now we have two emitters you already see there are more particles but yeah i will also um, create a new material so for this I will also duplicate my red material so I will also duplicate all the settings here so just duplicate it and here I will have some gold um, particles so for this I will change the name to gold go to the right hand side and just yeah set another color so but we also have to yeah set the material of the second emitter to the gold material so click on the emitter scroll all the way down and yeah, set it to gold. Now I will do this again. So I have a third emitter for my left side. So I will just right click on the new emitter and just duplicate it. So again, new material. Oh no, not a new material. We have just to duplicate it. So it's much easier. Um, yeah, duplicate and this will be some, yeah, let's say blue particles. And I will also change, of course, the colors. So last step, go to the new emitter and set the yeah, new mate the material to the blue material. So now we have some emitters um, with three colors. And at the moment they are pretty dark because we have to change our light settings. So for this, go to your scene, go to your ambient light and then select it go to the right hand side and play around with the intensity yeah i will set the intensity to yeah let's say 50 percent and now you can see they are much brighter so now i will uh, play around with the with the emitter at the moment they, they it's emitting yeah just diagonal of the screen so i want it emitting more upwards so for this i go to my scene and select all three of the emitters so just select all three of them and then we can play around with the rotation of all three. So I will just get it up and now you can see that it's emitting upwards and here the particles are beginning to fall down again. So this is pretty nice but yeah at the moment the particles are emitting all the, all the time but we just want it to emit so just a cannon effect when we tap on the screen. So to do this we have to start yeah, programming our filter in the patch editor. So open your patch editor and then go to add patch. And of course we need a screen tab patch here. So after you have created the screen tab patch, we also need a switch patch. So now the screen tab gas to state output goes into the turn on of the switch. And then we need also a delay patch. So I will create a delay patch. And here the gesture state output of the switch goes into the input of the delay and the output of the delay goes into the turn off of the switch. So the duration I will set now to 0.7 but of course you can also play around with this. This will be the time how long the emitter is emitting some particles. So but now we can try it but it won't work because we need some yeah, things to yeah here so we need a new patch 
we need a if patch and yeah the turn on off the output on off of the switch goes into the condition input of the if then else patch and here um yeah we will set the then to 200 but uh 200 but what do we need here at the output we need the birth rate of the emitters to control so for this again just yeah select all three emitters then go to your right hand side and then at the emitter tab here we'll find birth rate and here is a, a little arrow next to it just click on it and then you will have the birth rate of all three emitter in your patch editor um, when you click on it they will be all at the same place but yeah just drag them here and then just connect the output of the if then else patch to the emitter input um, to the birth rate input so and when you have connected all three of them the emitter will stop here and now we can test it so when we tap here on the screen the emitter is emitting for a short period of time and then yeah it goes away and now you can play around here with the settings with the birth rate the higher the birth rate the, uh, the more uh, particles will be when you click on the screen so here's you see it and yeah when you want to uh, um, alternate the speed more just yeah select all um, emitters and then you can set here the speed um, but here i will change just the percentage so i will set this to 50 percent and now it looks more natural i think but yeah as i said just play around with the settings and now i want also to have a yeah second uh, the emitter also here so that at both sides it goes up for this i will select all three of my emitters and also um yeah um duplicate them <clears throat> so just select all of them and then click on duplicate then you have yeah um here the new emitters the selected ones are the old ones so we have to select emitter three four and five and now we can just drag and drop them to the time to the other side for this click on the the position and you can move them to the other side and also rotate them that the emitter is emitting yeah into the screen but at the moment they are also just emitting all the time so again just select all the emitters go to the right hand side and here um, yeah extract the birth rate to the patch editor so now again just drag them around and of course just the output of the if then else patch goes into the birth rate input of the yellow emitter patches and now we have and we have two confetti cannons on both sides and now we can just tap on the screen and they are firing and yeah i think that looks pretty nice so at the moment those are pretty much and um, yeah confetti so i will just turn down the birth rate to 200 because now we have a left and a right one so there are more emit uh, more particles and yeah this looks pretty nice to me so yeah just play around with the settings and then you will have your perfect confetti cannon for your celebration filter or any other kind of filter you want to create so i hope i could help you with this video if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye